must be some kind of way out of here. Say the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Businessman there to drink my wine. Final Records Resurrected from the dead by diehard music fans Since 2009 the sales of vinyl records have risen with the help of vinyl fanatics, record store owners and people who enjoy the beauty of vinyl records. But why do people love the long playing album? And is it really making a comeback? Or is it at its vinyl resting place? You get a, a vinyl, the difference between a CD and a, a vinyl record a CD is like a, a small piece of plastic that, you know, you can put it in a car and just skip the tracks. Whereas if you get an LP, it's like, you know, you get gatefold LPs, you know, it's a ritual putting it on, you know, you remove it from the sleeve. And... I think that, I think vinyl, it, it's cha it's changed now that it, that it, you know from ten years ago. Ten years ago, you look at vinyl, and and, and people weren't buying it like they're buying now. So there is definitely a, a movement where young people are buying vinyl. You you go into any record shop and you'll see a vinyl section. HMV stock vinyl now, and, and at one point that they, they they had none at all. So yeah, vinyl is vinyl is. It's a retro thing that's become popular and new bands are embracing it. We caught up with Michael Johnson, a local record store owner who opened the store from his personal collection of over 8,000 records back in 2013. It's almost like a fashion or a, I wouldn't call it a fad because I don't think it will go back out and start again. I mean, if I'd have opened this eight years ago, I'd probably gone bust because that uh, resurgence of people of interest in the physicality of, of, of vinyl well, it hadn't happened. People thought vinyl was a dead medium, you know. They were, um, if you went into HMV in, in Oxford Street, uh, mostly you found T-shirts, books, DVDs, um, there's very little. Uh, the physical music hadn't yeah. even been moved off the ground floor. You had to go upstairs to find it. Um, it was it, it was a very different time then. But now, if you go into the HMV, it's this vinyl everywhere. Yeah. So it, it's it, it has been a change in fashion um, to some degree with the, with books as well. A number of people have said, oh, "Yeah, I, I, I got rid of my uh, tablet. I don't read on uh, uh, on a Kindle anymore. I got back into books." And it's a similar thing, that the, the, the actual physicality of it. You start a conversation, you can't even finish it. You're talking a lot, but you're not saying anything. When I have nothing to say, my lips are sealed. Say something once, why say it again? Psycho killer. Sound quality, um, digital recording on a digital media. So yeah, a lot of albums from the 90s onwards. The, the, the argument about what the sound quality is is pretty difficult to make on a vinyl yeah. against CD. Um, but for the earlier albums, particularly if there's no effort made on remastering for a for CD, then there's no question that the vinyl will sound better. I got a letter this morning. How do you Sales of vinyl records have skyrocketed from 857,000 in 2005 to over 9 million copies in 2014. The reason being for this comeback is because for many people a vinyl record is more than an album. It's a tangible work of art, it's a bridge to memories of simpler times, it's an escape from reality to a world of music. You know I grabbed up my suitcase, took out down the road. When I got down, What's so special about record stores? I think it's the way they're like a social hub. Like you can meet loads of new people in like a record store. So it's like there's been times that I've gone in a record store and there's been like punks over there and rave heads over there, people that are into blues and reggae. And yeah, you just meet a lot of people and 
Through talking to those people, you find different music, you know, like you find new bands, new like genres of music. And it's, it's just a great way to talk to people that have a common interest. record stores have different vibes to them if you see what I mean like the room has the place will have different atmospheres some some can be busy some can be really quiet and it feels almost like a library and in a way it is a library of music and everything and that is what's so special about them because it's a place where people can congregate and listen yeah. to records as well as buy some cool new music <laughs> classical through to house, uh, drum and bass, everything in between, Psych cool. 60s psychedelia, yeah. jazz, folk, the lot. I mean, we do try and stop nearly all of it. I mean, everything there, it, it's all second, well no, it's not all second now. We've got about now 5% of new vinyl as yeah. well. What's special about a vinyl record? Well, vinyl records are just a great medium to listen to music on. It's such a change up from listening to music digitally on CDs. Um, there's there's almost a ritual to listening to records and, and it makes an event of the music. It makes it makes the artist's work seem even more special. First record I ever bought was Velvet Underground and Nico. Uh, me and my friend Josh we're in Camden Lock, and we, we didn't even have a record player at the time. But we saw it and thought, oh, you, you have to get that record. And it was almost what, yeah, after that, I had to buy a record player then. And it was yellow as well, which made it pretty cool. Ask you please again. Now take a look, there's no tears in her eyes. She won't take it from just any guy. What can you My first record. Uh, I was I really when I was a little kid I really liked Roy Wood and um, and the M Wizard because it's just quite because for kind of hippie psychedelic music it was quite childish at the same time so I liked those songs and my first record was a Roy Wood LP. A single by a group called The Specials, um, and the the record the record that I bought um, was on seven. It was a seven-inch single, and I bought it from a little shop in a little town in Somerset. After hearing the specials on John Peel. First record I ever bought. Nirvana, never mind. Um, I got this in Camden when I was about 14 years old. My dad had just got a record player, and um, yeah, he just got a record player and was like getting out all his all his old records. And yeah, I've always loved this album, and I saw it for seven quid, and then I, I saw the beautiful greenness of it. I thought, yeah, yeah, I'll get that. And then I played it on his on his player and fell in love with the band again and the album. I see you walking on down the street. Look at all your friends. It's gonna meet. It's gonna ball shot. It's gonna work it. It's gonna work it out. 